Listen, uh, last week, William Wordsworth uh, would have celebrated his 246th birthday. And to celebrate the legendary poet, uh, Christine is in the Lake District, the region which inspired some of his greatest work. With views like these... It's not surprising the Lake District is the birthplace of romantic poetry. And it was William Wordsworth's love of such spectacular scenery that inspired him to write some of the best known verses in the English language. But one journey in particular through this countryside would have a profound effect on his career. Professor Simon Bainbridge is one of Britain's leading Wordsworth experts. It happened in the autumn of 1794, and at this stage William was still uh, a minor poet. And he was travelling from Windybrow Farm in Keswick with his friend Raisley Calvert, who had become ill with tuberculosis. Wordsworth companion Calvert was so frail that they had to stop in Penrith, where they took rooms at the Robin Hood Hotel. Wordsworth stayed by Raisley's bedside and looked after him uh, during his illness. We know that he died um, sometime in early to mid-January. That must have had a profound effect on Wordsworth. Well, it obviously has a great personal impact on him. He's lost a close friend. But it also has a very significant impact on his career as a poet because Raisley leaves him £900. I think the gesture is very important for, for Wordsworth because it shows that someone believed in him as a poet. Calvin's bequest allowed Wordsworth to dedicate himself to poetry and over the next decade, along with Samuel Taylor Coleridge, it would define romantic poetry. Many of his best-known poems were written while living in Duff Cottage in Grasmere. And it was whilst out walking nearby with his sister Dorothy one spring morning that the inspiration came to write his most famous poem, Daffodils. And with the flowers in full bloom, the people of Grasmere are celebrating this quintessential spring poem with a special recital for the one show. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er vales and hills When all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils Beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze Continuous as the stars that shine and twinkle on the Milky Way. They stretched in never-ending line along the margin of a bay. Ten thousand saw I at a glance, tossing their heads in sprightly dance. The waves beside them danced, but they outdid the sparkling waves in glee. A poet could not but be gay in such a jocund company. I gazed and gazed, but little thought. What wealth the show! to me had brought. For oft when on my couch I lie, in vacant or in pensive mood, they flash upon the inward eye, which is the bliss of solitude. And then my heart with pleasure fills and dances with the daffodils. Well, thank you.